clear sky and I'm actually seeking shelter in the forest to get away from the harsh light and it's so much easier to photograph here in the shadow yeah in the last video I was photographing the gold crest and I got a couple of questions in the comments and in the inbox of you uh, how I like place my blind and um, I like to to know where to be uh, to photograph this uh, gold crest and the birds so I uh, thought I going to do a little bit uh, tutorial a little bit behind the scenes uh, more of how I go uh, to approach this type of photography and uh, yeah so I thought that could be maybe helpful for you if you want to try to photograph this beautiful bird yourself but now it's time to do some gold crest photography and take you along and behind the scenes. First of all, the important thing about like where you're going to place uh, the blind and where you're going to like be uh, is to scout in beforehand. Uh, know uh, where there are birds uh, by like walking in the forest uh, and uh, of course know the birds where uh, they like to uh, to be in which habitat they like to be so I know that the gold crest they are liking uh, the, um, the pine trees with uh, these needles here as you can see uh, between those needles there they find food uh, and therefore they like this kind of trees really well the gold crest is the smallest bird in Norway so uh, they find little 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 insects and yeah all kinds of spiders and things that's hiding underneath this um, pine needles here. So I know that uh, this is a uh, good um, forest with an, a lot of pine trees and I have walked here before uh, and the second thing I do when I'm out in this kind of forest here is I use my ears to like uh, identify the birds and I know how the calling and uh, the so song of the gold crest are so I have learned that and I can listen when I'm walking to to hear if I can hear the birds and especially now when we're closing into the autumn uh, the gold crest are gathering in large flocks so you can hear them uh, in the treetops and around is in this area here uh, just calling and they are highly social birds so uh, when, by doing that I know that okay there are birds here and then I want to uh, don't want to have them in the high trees that we can see around here uh, because you cannot shoot that uh, high up in the sky and get a good picture but I want them to have the, the close uh, on this like uh, smaller trees with the branches sticking out here it's important to uh, also know that there are a lot of trees and bushes around there they are uh, so they can hide uh, in between uh, if it's too open they won't visit this place here because they they need like the protection from uh, birds of prey or yeah whatever can they are afraid of and uh, therefore this little tree here as you see here is perfect it has uh, open uh, branches here and also it's a little bit closed with uh, other types of bushes and uh, yeah grass underneath and all kinds of protection for the birds so it's actually perfect and also of course i can shoot here even if there is sun the sun is coming up behind me uh, but it takes a long time before it comes above the trees and hitting the tree it's hitting the tree right now as you see but um, they will change all the time because it's like the sun is uh, moving through the the forest and uh, uh, I want to have them in the shadow area here and yeah so but uh, after doing finding a good spot and I know there are birds in the area I place my height I find a good spot for my height so I can uh, sit there um, not too far away but not too close and also have a the uh, the eye level of the branches that I'm trying to shoot here which I have done here yeah after that I am uh, also I have used my GoPro camera uh, to get different kind of angles and like uh, connected them to the to the log of the tree there 
so you can get different kind of angles and it's really really fun last time I did that it was so cool to see the the shots afterwards and yeah like I said the birds are highly social so uh, they are like calling all the time they are giving out calls so to like uh, have a bigger chance for them to come down in this area here and feed around these pine needles uh, I'm actually placing a little speaker on uh, on the bottom of the tree and uh, some occasion I just uh, make some calling no noise um, from the the gold crest just to to give them uh, to get them uh, the attention of the birds and they know oh it's a bird here let's go and feed around this tree here and then I stop the 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 the, the calls uh, and then they are like staying around this area here and uh, yeah they are like giving a call to each other and yeah chasing each other around and feeding here and yeah and hopefully some of them land in uh, some area that is not too cluttery and i get to uh, be able to photograph them a little bit with uh, open background and so on so that is my tips uh, how i do it when i'm going to photograph like the gold crest small birds and uh, it's not a success all the time because it's wild birds you cannot predict where they are going to be and uh, yeah but uh, i have to put in a lot of time uh, and if i do that it's a big chance for me to get some pictures of the gold crest so it's a really really beautiful bird and I love to photograph it and uh, enough talking let's go into the blind like you have seen and know from my other videos and you have already seen this bird it's so fast really fast and so hard to photograph uh, but yeah they are so like uh, in between twigs as well so I'm using the single focus point so it, it doesn't try to focus on uh, the branch around uh, so I can like spot it directly on the bird so I'm using the D4S with a 500 and a 1.4 teleconverter. So I am at f uh, 5.6 and, and that can be tricky because there is a shadow here. And uh, so I need to I have my eyes uh, around 2500 to a 3200 to get uh, enough shutter speed. But even so, uh, the shutter speed is not too high. I'm around uh, 200 of a second and with that fast bird it's really, really uh, fast movement and you can get really blurry pictures. But what I'm doing to get around that, first of all have a good tripod to support it so you don't have any camera shake. I have the VR on and I use uh, my highest frame rate that the camera will uh, prevent and this is uh, the 11 frames per second so I'm using that and just press the trigger when I see the bird uh, I press the trigger and hopefully one of them is sharp as they are like standing still uh, split second there and the larger ch chance for getting a sharp picture 
so I test so I'm taking some test shots before uh, just to see how the exposure are um, if it's too dark but because here in the forest it can change a lot especially if the background is starting to light up I need to compensate for that by doing a plus 0 03 or 0 07 uh, and maybe sometimes uh, plus one as well so you need to pay attention to uh, the surrounding and learn how the camera will behave in this kind of situation